I know. It's never it's never quality and speed. I think we're not talking about speed here, yeah, because here we're talking about speed. Welcome to a recent users conference. We've invited some of the top names in mechanical engineering, chemistry, and real-time simulation to discuss their computation and graphics needs. Well, see, in our, in our lab, we have craze for computational fluid dynamics calculations, and we've got graphics workstations, but they can't talk to each other fast enough. And our workstations can't handle larger models. You're right about needing high speed. Some of our chemical data computations take 20 to 30 hours to compute on a VAX. Then we change the data, and it's another 20 or 30 hours. Any new machine has to have mega, mega flops. Our real-time simulators require significant computation speed with lots of bandwidth to high-performance graphics. If you could have high-speed number crunching happening at the same time as high-speed rendering, then you'd have something. Yes, yes. Computing and graphics, but realistic graphics. 3D is a must. What we could use is a new machine. Super fast computation, but with the look and feel of a workstation. Tightly coupled with high-performance graphics capability. I've been working on this we learn from our users that applications are now demanding more and more computer power. As a result, increasing amounts of data are being generated, and high-performance graphics have become necessary to speed analysis and problem-solving. Alliant has now integrated its high-performance FX series of supercomputers with Raster Technologies' powerful, high-quality 3D graphics systems. Raster Technologies, who recently joined the Alliant family, is a leader in standards-based computer graphics systems. What this means to you is a new class of computer. Together, they have created the Visualization Series, a family of visual supercomputers. The Visualization Series allows users to accelerate the scientific discovery process. Through a high-speed shared memory system, large-scale data sets can be created and manipulated along with real-time 3D interactive graphics. In areas such as molecular modeling, high-energy physics, earth resources, fluid flow dynamics, mechanical design and analysis, and defense and aerospace simulations. Pictures, instead of printouts, create insights and improve the time to solution. The visualization series from Alliant Computer Systems are visual supercomputers, a new combination of technologies. I've been spending months working on this airplane wing design. And every time I change something, which I'm doing all the time, I have to go through this incredible process. First, I batch compute my data on the mainframe. And then I download to my workstation on a small bandwidth link. Then I modify and view my data, then upload back to the mainframe over the same link. Then I start all over again. It takes forever. When I'm finally done, I'm going to build a model and then do a wind tunnel test. If he could be doing high performance computing together with graphics, we could simulate airflow. If I could interact with my design as it's displayed, in other words, become an integral part of the computational graphics loop, then I could immediately see the results of the changes in my design, and we wouldn't need these time-consuming intermediate steps. We wouldn't need the model or the wind tunnel. It would be much more productive. Much more cost-effective. You're running yeah. out of cost because... An airplane wing is an example of a mechanical design application where the user is continually altering the data set. The visualization series allows interactive recomputation of the data set at the same time as graphic display. If the curve of the wing's edge is changed slightly, the graphic display shows the change in the airflow. The visualization series allows the user to steer their data towards a solution. In a traditional batch processing setup, computers crunch data, such as a wing design. Then the data is downloaded to a terminal or workstation for graphic display. The visualization series places a human in the loop between the computational section of the system and the graphics section, allowing the user to affect the data as the graphics are being produced. The bottlenecks of low bandwidth links and insufficient graphics capabilities are eliminated. This is a far superior approach to batch processing situations. With a visualization series, human intuition and cognitive reasoning can be brought to bear on the problem, minimizing the time to solution. Alliance unique parallel processing architecture makes this interactivity possible. Three different types of processors are managed by Concentrix, Alliance Unix-based operating system. 
Advanced computational elements, or ACEs, are high-performance parallel vector processors. For maximum speed, up to eight ACEs work together in a computational complex. Interactive processors, or IPs, run programs such as editors, and operating system tasks, including I.O., paging, and scheduling. The operating system automatically allocates processors to jobs as they're needed. The result is low overhead parallel computing with reduced time to solution for computationally intensive applications. On the graphics side, the graphics arithmetic processors, or GAPs, are high-performance scalar floating point processors dedicated to graphics operations. GAPs directly execute FIGS and FIGS plus graphics commands out of display list memory. The display list is a section of shared physical memory that's also directly accessed by the ACEs. The result is faster graphics display through a direct connection to the computed data. It's the same thing. Yeah. Can you get both? Yeah. I mean, That's we're we're always creating molecular models that are incredibly complex. We add, delete, and modify fragments. Our graphics require real-time rotation and clipping of solid objects. We'll make something, cut it open, then change it. Lee is part of our computational chemistry group. We have both graphics users and computational users working together. Our ideal would be to have them all on one machine, so we could all share in the data and images. We also need graphics tools so that we don't have to bring someone in to write graphics code for us. The visualization series was designed with Ken and Lee in mind. For a computational chemist, the application capabilities are outstanding. For example, this representation of a protein with electric field vectors enables the chemist to see how a charge would move in the field created by the protein. This is a solid model of electrostatic surfaces. It illustrates sectioning through a surface to see how atoms are arranged relative to the charged surface. These models clearly display the power of visualization for computational chemistry applications. The visualization series utilizes the powerful X11 News multitasking environment. The easy-to-use multiple windows, pop-up menus, and icons, along with a user interface based on an industry standard operating system, gives the visualization series the look and feel of a workstation. For the non-programmer, VisEdge is a powerful menu-driven visualization tool for loading, manipulating, editing, and displaying images and datasets. Operated through a simple menu-driven system, VisEdge saves application development time. Basic software modules, including 3D primitive generation, color selection, device management, and tessellation, are part of VisEdge and can be adapted for specific processes. Translucency and clipping capabilities allow users to look inside or cut off outer layers of objects. VisEdge is customizable. Commands and menus can specifically be created for your applications. The visualization series is a family of visual supercomputers that are based on Alliance FX series. The VFX4 is a visualization system for a small department or workgroup. The VFX40 was designed for a large workgroup. With double the users and more than double the computational power of the VFX40, the VFX80 handles eight visual displays and 64 computational users. And Alliance's highest capacity visualization system is the VFX82. For an individual scientist or engineer, the compatible personal visualization station is ideal as a single user development system. The visualization series provides an expandable solution for any visualization need. Graphics just aren't coming through when you crunch them See, we put together real time simulation systems for defense agencies with Fortran and Ada. Now we have to use one of the computers to control the pilot's interaction, one for out-the-window graphics, and one for compute. Now half the problem is getting these computers to talk to one another fast enough. I developed graphics in Fortran and C for the simulators. Now my, my systems would just sit and wait for the data to come from the compute side. I'd get data, but I couldn't get enough graphics power. So my screen updates couldn't keep up. I never got the graphics quality or the update speed that I wanted. With a visualization series, real-time simulation means real-time. In one system, interaction, graphics, and computation are all happening simultaneously. 
The interconnection of the graphic subsystem and advanced computational elements through the shared memory means data transfer is direct. You get multiple screens to display different aspects of the simulation environment simultaneously. For example, you can see mapping information and out-the-window images. That's high performance. The graphic subsystem delivers high performance using hardware and firmware resident FIGS and FIGS Plus commands. Performance and standards, an industry first. Standards means portability to other computing environments, so your software investment is protected. High performance is achieved through custom VLSI high-speed bit slice and video RAM technologies that are employed in four major components. The Display List Manager, or DLM, controls access to the shared display list memory and frees the ACES to allow applications data to be processed along with visual display. The Graphics Arithmetic Processors, or GAPs, directly execute FIGS and FIGS Plus commands. Each GAP has 10 MIPS and 20 megaflops of power. Up to 8 GAPs can be configured for each display list manager to produce rendering speeds of up to 1 million 3D vectors per second. Command distribution across multiple GAPs is done automatically and GAPs can be added without any change in software. For each graphics user on a visualization system, there are image memory units containing a frame buffer, multiple VLSI drawing processors, and a video output section. The drawing processors use a parallel processing architecture to draw vectors, triangles, rectangles, and bit blitz, all with smooth shading at greater than 50 million pixels per second. Resolution is 1280 by 1024 by 24 bits. The optional Z buffer is a full 1280 by 1024 by 16 bits for depth comparisons and hidden surface removal at full drawing speed. The visualization series offers integration into other environments for standard languages, including VAX compatible FX Fortran, FXC, and FX Ada. The Unix based Concentrix operating system supports TCP IP and Ethernet, the network file system, the network computing system, the network queuing system, hyperchannel based networking for Cray environments, and DECnet for VAX environments. Visualization provides insights into problem solving for a vast array of scientific and engineering applications. And the visualization series of visual supercomputers provide the high performance computing power and real time graphics capabilities necessary to achieve these insights. Interactivity allows for direct manipulation of your data. Unique parallel processing architectures for data computation and graphics display ensure the power and flexibility to handle your application. For molecular modeling, high energy physics, earth resources, fluid flow dynamics, mechanical engineering, and simulations, the visualization series accelerates discovery. Anyone have anything else to add? Do you think anyone will come up with something like this? Mm. Maybe in a few years. The visualization series accelerates discovery. From Alliant Computer Systems, the visualization series, a family of visual supercomputers, here today. For a personal demonstration, contact Alliant Computer Systems at 1-508-486-4950.